Welcome back. So we're talking about data science, this kind of intro overview of data science. Uh, and I've really emphasized that this is about asking questions and then you know, questions that you can answer with data, and this being a feedback, uh, a feedback cycle. So we're going to start to talk about what questions you can ask and get into a little bit more detail uh, soon. I want to talk a little bit about the data for now, kind of the various things we'll do with data. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot of data science goes into collecting the data, storing the data, cleaning the data, processing the data. So collecting, uh, curating, you know, storing, cleaning the data are huge aspects uh, of data science. So a lot of database engineering and management, a lot of data processing algorithms, cleaning data, outlier, identifying outliers, uh, and filling them in. What if you have missing data? You know, real world data is messy. And so the collecting, curating, and cleaning of data is absolutely critical. I should probably also say part of this, this feedback is identifying the right data to start answering these questions. So you have to, to identify, do you have the data? Can you get the data? And then start collecting, curating, and cleaning that data. Okay, so this is kind of database engineering. Um, and then what you want to do downstream of that are things like visualize. So you want to visualize. Um, you want to analyze. And you might want to model, uh, build models for prediction. You might want to use mo build models that can be used and deployed in the real world. This is kind of where uh, machine learning comes in. So machine learning is super exciting. Lots of interest in developing these models from data, uh, but you have to go through all of this hard work first. So tons and tons of effort here uh, to get to the, I don't know, for me, I really like visualizing the fun part of visualizing, analyzing, and modeling. This is interesting and fun too, um, but this is kind of, you know, goes in this, in this direction. And there's feedback though at every step. Once you visualize the data you've been collecting, you might decide that you need to modify your data collection or the way that you're storing or, or you know, to ask different questions. Once you start analyzing and modeling, again, there might be feedback loops at all levels of this process. So this is not uh, kind of a static architecture. This is a dynamic process, again, in the hands of, of expert humans, teams of, of humans asking questions that can be answered with data. So I think of data science as kind of data-driven inquiry or uh, the science of how to, to do that data-driven inquiry. Um, and I'll, I'll be blunt. Uh, a lot of times when I talk to companies, uh, for example, in consulting, they spend a lot of time and effort, a majority of their time and effort in this side, in this kind of data engineering. Uh, and I've heard all kinds of, of analogies and stories. You're going to build a data lake, and you're going to have all these data rivers going into data lake, you know, this big warehouse where you're going to hold all of your data. And I must caution you, if you don't invest in the analysis, the modeling, the visualization, you're going to find yourself up Data Creek without Data Paddle. Okay, so you need to, to do this. This is critical, but you also need to be investing in kind of the analytics and the modeling and these, these rich uh, things you can do with your data. And I think visualization is, is so important because we're inherently visual you know, beings, uh, and this visualization also is all about communication. So if you have a great idea, but you can't communicate it to your boss or to your team, you know, it wasn't that great of an idea. And so visualization is, is also a critical aspect of how, how this feedback, feedback cycle works. And that's, that's a, another kind of point I want to make, is that this is not, data science is not about the data. It's not about the algorithms. It's about the people and the teams and the problems you're going to solve. It's, it's questions you're asking. It's problems you want to solve, problem solving. Um, and it's an inherently collaborative art. So data science uh, involves teams of people collaborating. So teams of experts. And you know, in the in the traditional model of an expert, you might have you know we we call these T-shaped people. So you have some breadth, you know, not just one thing but lots of things, and you have a lot of depth 
in one area. Maybe this depth is in uh, designing, you know, automotive uh, aerodynamic streamlined bodies, or maybe this is in uh, aircraft design or space mission design or whatever it is that you're interested that you do. Um, you know, for me, it's fluid flow control and fluid modeling. But increasingly what we're going to find in the future in these teams of data scientists, or sorry, data scientists on teams, uh, problem solving teams, is that people will need to develop a second depth area in data science. So this is what uh, people call pie-shaped people, uh, pie-shaped experts. So you still need your breadth and your domain expertise, but now you have this kind of data science expertise. And so I really want to emphasize data scientists are not just going to be sitting across a firewall from the people collecting the data and solving the problems. You want data scientists on your team in the room helping you make decisions. In fact, Ideally, you want the experts who are collecting the data and doing the problem solving to have data science expertise. So this is going to be like computer literacy. You don't just have everybody who solves problems and then people who only under, you know, only a few people who understand how computers work and a firewall. You have your team of expert problem solvers and they all have a basic degree of computer literacy. And then you have kind of experts who are on the team. Okay, and that, that's how we see kind of data science evolving is being a core functionality that, that your whole team, you're going to have to integrate this into, into your team. Okay, other things that are really important are these aspects of reproducibility. Reproducibility. Um, in science, there has been a, a crisis that lots of results that have been published, when other groups of scientists try to reproduce them, they can't. And that means there's something wrong in the way that we are conducting and conveying scientific data. Uh, and so this idea of reproducibility is really ubiquitous. Um, we want the processes that we spend our lives developing and improving to be reproducible by others. We want uh, reliability of the things we learn and the things we optimize and design. And so reproducibility is also critical in data science. How do you collect enough data that your processes are reproducible, that you're stand, you have standards in some sense. Uh, okay, so lots of, lots of things to think about. It's about this feedback. You have to do a lot of work collecting your data and curating and cleaning, but then you get to analyze and visualize and communicate. You get to solve problems with data on teams. And hopefully your teams of experts are not kind of segregated into domain experts and data scientists, but you have people who have this kind of mixed capability uh, of, of domain expertise and data science expertise. Okay, we're going to keep going into more depth. We're going to talk about the various aspects uh, of this in more detail. Thank you.